Hello everyone and welcome to an academy. In this lecture, I am going to talk about the M phase or the multiplication phase. Now, M phase is the phase during which a parent cell divides to give rise to two daughter cells, and it is the actual cell division phase which is followed by it. followed after the interphase. Okay, so this phase is called as the equational division. The division that occurs is equational. Why? Because the number of chromosome in the parent and the number of chromosomes in the progeny are same. You might ask the question that if a parent has two n number of chromosome, then in each daughter cell might have n number of chromosomes each. But that is not the case. Actual case is that if parent is having two n number, then each daughter cell would also have two n number of chromosomes. This is achieved because during the interphase only the DNA replication has already occurred and the replicated DNA forms the sister chromatids. These sister chromatids would separate during the M phase and that would lead to equational division. This would be further clear when we will learn more about the different stages of the M phase. Now, this process of mitosis occurs in the somatic cells of animals. Somatic cells are the normal cells which are not a part of gonads. And in case of plants, it occurs in the meristematic tissue which is a rapidly dividing tissue. And in some leaves, flowers, fruits during the growth process. Now, this process of mitosis has been divided as karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Now this is a diagrammatic representation of the various sub phases and the stages of M phase. The M phase has been divided as karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis comes from the term karyon that means nucleus and kinesis which refers to division here. And cytokinesis which comes from cyto that is cytoplasm and kinesis is referred to as division for the context of this chapter. Now the process of karyokinesis has been divided as prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Now in this chapter we are going to learn about the different events that occur in these four stages. And this is very important because this is the actual time where the rearrangement of chromosomes and the separation of the two daughter cells is going to occur. Now we are going to talk about the prophase. Pro means first and phase means stage. So prophase is the first stage of M phase. Now this stage is characterized by the condensation of the chromatin material and the DNA also untangled forming the mitotic chromosomes as already during the S phase the sister chromatids were formed. Now this is put forward and these chromosomes further condense. Chromosomes are seen as the two sister chromatids attached to a central point that is centromere. The significance of centromere is that in the like more we will learn once we go through the other stages that the centromere consists of a structure that helps in attachment to the spindle fiber. Okay that we are going to learn in future. Now the chromosomes would appear as ball like structure. A ball of wool during the early prophase. Why? Because their ends are still not clear. And this stage is also referred to as spirum stage. So spirum stage basically refers because they appear like a loosely packed ball of yarn. Now also during this stage, the centrioles that have already duplicated during the S phase of interphase will move towards the opposite poles. These centrioles would initiate the formation of spindle fibers. Also 
as the prophase comes to an end the endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus nucleolus and the nuclear envelope start to disappear now this is a diagrammatic representation where in case of early prophase the nuclear envelope has started disintegrating but it has not yet the chromosomes or the sister chromatids not the chromosomes but the sister chromatid because these are attached with the help of a centromere in their center so these become untangled and condensed so that you can see them like as long thin slender filaments now we come to the late prophase during late prophase the nuclear envelope has almost completely disintegrated with very few fragments left over and the sister chromatids further condensed the length has reduced because they have become short and thick rather than thin and coiled okay now we come to the second phase that is the metaphase this is called second phase because meta means second and phase means stage now here the identification of chromosomes is most easy because the chromosomes or the sister chromatids are thickest and shortest during this phase we would not refer these two as chromosomes but sister chromatids why because these still have a centromere that attaches the two chromatids together now uh, this stage is also marked when the nuclear envelope has completely disintegrated no more fragments are left as in case of late prophase there were certain fragments also mitotic spindle is completely formed during this stage and the spindle fiber gets attached to the sister chromatids with the help of a special disk like sh shaped structure that is present at the surface of centromere this structure is called kinetochore now that is why i was saying that centri centromere are of great significance because they consist of a disk like structure called kinetochore which attaches to the spindle fibers so this is the transition to metaphase because here the chromatids are not yet in a particular equatorial plane rather some of them are above the plane while some are below the plane this is transitional phase finally we lead to the metaphase where all the chromosomes are aligned at the equatorial plate the next phase is anaphase here ana means up and phase means stage so this is a stage where the sister chromatids are going to separate from each other and move towards the opposite poles now there is a reason why the long uh, chromosomes get condensed become shorter because it is very easy for short chromosomes to move away from the equator rather than long slender twisted chromosomes to move so that is why they condense okay now anaphase is the phase during which the centromere is going to split apart the two sister chromatids the separated sister chromatids are now referred to as chromosomes so there is a difference now there there is no longer a centromere that is present they have split apart the two sister chromatids and now what we have are the two individual chromosomes the shortening of spindle fiber and chromosomes shortening of spindle fiber occurs that is the spindle fiber start to move towards the two opposite poles and the chromosome begin to move towards the opposite pole since these chromosomes are attached to spindle fiber as the spindle fiber shorten these chromosomes start moving towards the opposite poles next is the telophase telo means end phase means stage so this is the end stage of mitosis process during this stage the short chromosomes which were condensed start decondensing 
they start decondensing and they become thin slender long and coiled once again so they actually they lose their identity nuclear envelope and the nucleolus which disappeared now they return back apart from these other organelles that are disintegrated now return back and one of the major thing that happens is that the mitotic spindle disappears completely disappears now this is a diagrammatic representation of the anaphase and telophase anaphase during which the spindle fibers are shortening up these are the chromosomes the sister chromatids separated forming the chromosomes the two chromosomes that are moving towards the opposite poles because of shortening of the spindle fibers okay so the next is the telophase telophase during which the nuclear envelope starts to reappear the chromatin material starts to decondense becomes coils and tangled once again all the different organelles reappears and the mitotic spindle has disintegrated so these are all the changes occurring during telophase now finally this process of telophase follows by the cytokinesis and then comes your interphase again now cytokinesis is the last topic here the division of cytoplasm occurs there's a difference in case of animals what happens is that this furrow which is developing from outside and slightly de deepens into the cell so there is a centripetal fashion of movement that is from outside to center but in case of plant cells a cell plate is formed for cytokinesis this cell plate is formed in the middle by the uh, by a substance called as phragmoplast which is formed by the golgi complex the cell plate would initiate from the center and then it grows in a centrifugal manner that means from inside to outside and finally meets the lateral walls the lateral cell wall to divide the single cell into two daughter cell thanks for watching i hope you understood it basically we are ending up to two daughter cells and the two daughter cells are going to have the same number of chromosome as the parent cell was having this is because of the replication of dna the dna got replicated and during the subsequent phases that is the prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase these phases marked how the two sister chromatids align at the spindle fiber and then gets separated from each other so this is the whole process of mitosis which gives equational division so i hope you understood it thanks for watching